Stand, please. Have you reached a verdict on which at least ten of you agree? No. And do you think if I gave you any more time you would be able to reach a verdict on which at least ten of you agreed? No, I'm sorry. In which case, I'm obliged to call the trial to a halt and discharge you, the jury. And having consulted with the prosecution in anticipation of such an outcome, it is my duty to tell you, Mr. Collins, that the prosecution intend to offer no further evidence. And as such, given this was the third trial for the same offence, you are now formally acquitted of all charges and are free to leave. Court will now adjourn. Insane out there. Come on. David. No. No. Hey. Dave. Seven years ago, I was sent to prison for something that I did not do, for uh, a terrible crime that I did not commit. Overnight, I lost my wife, I lost my liberty, and most importantly, I lost my kids. Why? Because of the Forensic Science Services criminal negligence and because of a police investigation that bent every bit of evidence to fit a theory that was clearly wrong. And more important than that, much worse was that ordinary people lied. They lied for their own ends. And if they're watching this now, then I want them to know that I will expose them. I will expose them for what they have put me through. I've had seven years of my life stolen and now I want justice. I want my wife's real killer found. I want those that lied brought to book. And I want my children back. 
Thank you, ladies Where and gentlemen. Where would you be, Mr. Collins? Would like to get home. Thank you. Thank you. No more questions. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. No more questions. with the children. We should have told them this was a possibility. What would we have said, Rob? Is what? <laughs> it's not just a question of having an open mind, DCI Beach. We have to be seen to have one. It was a stupid thing to say, obviously. It's just we all know he was released on a technicality, so... I've never worked on a case that explored more possibilities, sir. There was no one else. It was him. Well, I hope so. The public hardly need another reason to distrust us, do they? Which is why I know you'll understand my need now for a fresher pair of eyes. Yeah, Hudson. Yes, sir. So I want you to pick a team completely unconnected to the original investigation, and then I want you to start again, to investigate this case as if she were killed yesterday. You think you can do that? Yes, sir. Why not? Oh, there are about 50 reasons why not walking the corridors of this station alone, D.I. Hudson. But we need to send a message out that despite DCI Beach's remarks this morning, we take the court's decision very seriously indeed. Yes, sir, of course. Good. And keep me up to speed on any new developments. I've got the Home Office breathing down my neck. What about the other evidence? Well, in the end, the jury must have decided that the other stuff was just too circumstantial. What circumstantial? Well, it means that... Uh, it was helpful for the original case, but not on its own enough to prove guilt. Her blood was on his coat. It was. But the jury believed it might have got there by accident. At the forensic laboratory. But what about all the other stuff he did to her? Hitting her and, well, and the yeah, threats he made it, to you? It doesn't prove that he murdered anybody. What was he talking about when he said people had lied? Well, um... If he wants people to believe him, he's going to have to say we all lied, isn't he? Did you? Of course not, Jack. So you still think he did it? Well, yeah. In the end, you know, I think it's probably best not to dwell on our own opinions, I think. The truth is, we'll probably never know one way or the other. This is so fucked up. Jack, Jack, I know this must be... Just leave him love. Just let him have some time on his own. What's to stop him just taking us back? Lots. Rosie, there is lots to stop him. I bet he's gone to live with Uncle Phil. It's only 15 no, minutes no, away. No. He could come and That's take us when we're okay. outside school. And okay. he okay. killed our mom and he come could on. kill us. <laughs>
It's too big, really, and, um, well, your case took up a fair amount of time. Both gave me the excuse to chuck in my shite job and, uh, I want to take one that I, I actually enjoy, for which, my dear brother, I am eternally grateful. Same for me. Nah, no, I bloody wouldn't have. <laughs> right. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick the kettle on. There's a few boxes of stuff from, from your old house there. I managed to get in before. Alice took everything. Are they still just outside Elsham? Yeah. Drive over every now and then just... just to see the kids. Well, see, see them, have you... Uh, have you spoken to them, Phil? No, no, from a distance. I've taken a few photos over the years that, that they're in there too. Yeah. Milk and sugar. Who's going to give me the case? I know. And obviously, I've got no choice about whether I had hey, to say yes or... It's all right. It's all right. I'm pleased for you. Of course I am. And I'm here for you if you need any help, genuinely. Listen, he knows you got it right. Does he? Doesn't sound like it to me. <sighs> Jesus, maybe there is someone else out there. Maybe I did get it wrong. No, no, you didn't get anything wrong. I know that. Everyone knows that. I'm just going to do what I'm told and... Do what's required of me, and then I have absolutely no doubt that I will come to exactly the same conclusion that you did seven years ago, okay? Everything's gonna be fine, babe. <laughs> Look, he's arrived this morning. Oh. I thought maybe we could have a look over the weekend. Okay. If you're about. Yeah. Um, That's nice. Mary Luce, can I see you both in here, please? Graham, can I see you as well?
So these are copies of the original Tara Collins case file. Please take one each, digest, and then tomorrow, first thing, we start again. And just... We're probably not going to find anything which puts Collins back inside. CPS have never sanctioned a fourth trial for the same offence. But what we might find if we give this our very best efforts is evidence which proves conclusively this time what actually happened that night. And I think we owe Tara's family that, at the very least. OK. Thanks, guys. Sorry, I expected you earlier. They're both asleep now. Took me back watching all those news reports. I can't manage on what you give us, Tom. But that's what the courts decided was fair. Yeah, well, courts can get it wrong, though, can't they? What were you thinking? Another five a year. I can't afford to pay you another £5,000 a year, Louise. Really? You're a consultant now. And all that private work. All those pretty young milks who pay you to peer between their legs. How is your new wife, by the way? Yeah, it took me back, Tom. It took me right back. Yes, I'm sorry to say that in certain circumstances, special guardianship can be revoked. But I think the key thing here, if it went to court, what the judge would want to know more than anything else, and actually what both sets of parents should want to know, is what do the kids want? Well, they want to stay with us. Of course they will. OK. So you've already spoken to them about this? Well, no, not directly. It's all happened so fast, but, you know, we don't need to. We just know. Yeah, they, they hardly remember their father. Jack was eight, Rosie was five. He'd, he'd be a stranger to them. Now, all the friends are here, their family, their, their school, everything's here. Now, none of this even takes into account what they still believe he did, of course. Absolutely. And all of those are very powerful arguments. But I also imagine that in time, they'll come to accept the fact that he's been acquitted. And notwithstanding all the other points you make, they are still his kids. All I'm saying is, if he does apply for an access order, they'll take it very seriously. And given that, my advice to you is to start a dialogue with him. But with David? I know that might seem impossible right now, but trust me, going to court is not only incredibly expensive, it's traumatic for everyone, especially the kids. But if you can talk and find some compromise, there might just be a way forward that works for everyone. I will never get over what that man did to my family. And I want you to know that if I was ever in the same room as him, I would try and kill him. I'm going to nip down the shops to get some grub. Is there anything in particular you fancy? Can I go? Of course you can. And you don't have to ask? No, no, sorry, force of habit. Here you go. And, uh, maybe grab some beers? <sighs> oh, well, I got you this. It's, um... An old one of mine, but should be okay. I've stuck my number in it and uh, your lawyer's. I'm going to pay you back, Phil, for everything. I swear. Eva, I'm so sorry. Traffic was mental. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow.
it's me. Dave. You all right? You're my daughter's godfather. You're my friend, Tim. I'm not your friend. You have no friends. Now fuck off back under that stone you crawl down from. See you, and we just want you back. Mm. And if anybody is watching this and knows where she is, contact her. We just want her back with her family. So we love you very much. Thank you. Mr. Collins won't be answering any questions at this time. Thank you very much. If you feel bad, just text me, right? I'll come get you. Hey. Hey. Why weren't you last night? I gave you a call. No, I, my phone was on silent and then it was late. Ah. Uh -huh. You know that three bedroom Ripley? Perfect. Yeah, that was the one I liked. Yeah? I could get a transfer to Bannum, you could stay here. It's only a ten mile commute for each of us. Yeah. Great. So, shall I arrange a view? You, you around this weekend? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Great. Hey, anything you want me to go through with you? No, I'm good. Thanks, though. So your sister-in-law offered to take on the children? Yeah. And with your blessing? No, absolutely not, no. No, because I knew at that point, right, that she told the police lies about me. About you hitting your wife? Among other things, yeah. And so you resisted it? Yeah, I tried to. I wanted my brother to look after him. And he agreed to move down from Bolton after Tara died. But they put up a very powerful argument in court saying that 
saying that the kids knew them better and, uh, and that they loved them and it was the least disruptive option for everyone. And this was true? Uh, look, she'd been a good aunt and she didn't have any kids of her own, so I'm sure that she did love them, yeah. Still does, in fact. Okay. And am I right in thinking that you haven't seen your children since the day you were arrested? Because? Well, I wanted them to visit me, of course, but they refused. And did you write to them? Yeah, I did, at first, yeah. And did they write back? I got a response to my first letter from my son. Right. Which was, understandably, very angry. Mm. OK. I only ask because in terms of the court, they will think that seven years is a very long time for a child not to have any contact with a parent. They've lived longer without you than with. And you just need to be aware that they will consider this. But they are your kids. And on balance, I still believe that the courts would say you have a right to see them. Yes. But what would actually be better is if we could open a dialogue with the Guardians. If both sides start talking, we could resolve the issue without getting the courts involved at all. Speak with Alice. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Could if I was in the same room as that woman. I don't think that's going to be a possibility. It's very clear to me that David Collins remains the most credible suspect. We know the blood on his coat was his wife's. We have the sister's testimony that there was a history of violence from him towards Tara. We have a witness who heard a woman scream coming from the direction of their house at approximately 11 p.m. And we know that Collins lied about his friend Tom Wilson being at their house until 11.30 that night. Wilson actually left at 10.30, which meant Collins would have had time to drive to Dedham Lakes and back before being seen by their milkman at just after 5 a.m. But if this murder had happened yesterday, I would be exploring other avenues as well. Steve, Tom Wilson. When he was first interviewed, his account tallied with Collins. He said he was drinking and playing cards with him until 11.30. But then three days later, he revised his timings. I want to know why he changed his mind. Mary Luz, you and me are going to look at Collins again, but also Alice Moffat. Probably not going to be a popular line of inquiry, but the fact is she did pretty well out of Tara's murder. Before that, she and Rob were living in a one-bedroom flat in Malling. Always wanted kids. Husband was infertile. So with Tara dead and David in prison, she had herself a ready-made family. So I want to go through everything that happened that night. I want to talk to Alice about the meal she had with Tara that evening and speak to the witnesses from the restaurant. Lastly, just let's do ourselves a favour. None of this is going to play well out there. So until we're obliged, let's just give all information out on a need-to-know basis. Great. Hello? Mr. Collins, this is DI Kathy Hudson. Your brother gave me your number? I thought it might be useful if we met. The Collins case? Yeah. What on earth could Tom tell you about the Collins case? Why is he around? He's doing a lecture tonight. Oh, OK. Well, no problem. I'll just give him a call, then. Have you got his mobile? Give me yours, and I'll get him to call you. So how long have you two been married now, then? Two years. Oh, and he, he never mentioned that he used to be David Collins' best friend? I'll get him to call you. Thanks for your time.
Well, we already know what Rosie wants. Yeah, we know what a very confused 12-year-old girl wants. No, no, she's terrified of him, Ralph. Yeah, of course she is, because of everything she thinks she knows about What do you mean she thinks she knows? What does that mean? No. Whether we like it or not, he has been released, and he will be going after some sort of access with a very good chance of getting it. So however we do it, we need to help the kids accept that. Your children even spending an hour with that man makes me feel sick. His children? No, no. They are not his kids. He gave up that right when he killed their mother. They're ours, Rob. They are yours and mine. They're Tara's. This is not helpful. Really, really. God, you are such a fixed view of what everything. Do you mean the, a the, fixed the, view? The case Tara. The this. last seven years wasn't just my take on things. It was the police's, it was ours, it was everybody's. Maybe we were wrong. Look, all I'm saying is that after three trials, he has been released. Yeah, on a technicality. Yeah, maybe, but. Maybe, he... maybe. I can't believe you're even beginning to try and defend that man. Rosie? Rosie? Rosie! When exactly did Agatha Wachowski stop working for you? And any idea at all where she is now? Any of your staff who might know? No, I do understand. You get a lot of churn with immigrants, but worth asking, maybe. Okay, tell you what, how about I drop by right now and interview them all myself? Yes, I'll hold. So, do you still think I killed her? Yeah. On balance, I do, yes. But there are some gaps in the original investigation which I want to look into. And I intend to find out the truth. If you think that'll be good for you, you'll help me. If you don't, you won't. So uh, there are three main areas that I want you to go away and have a think about. Firstly, and most importantly, <clears throat> can you think of anyone who would have maybe wanted to hurt Tara? I want you to think about her behaviour in the months leading up to her death and ask yourself, did anything odd happen? Maybe something that's occurred to you since the original investigation, which might help us. A fractured cheekbone that she suffered three months before she died. Obviously, she said she'd been mucked. Same thing. Can you go back over the days leading up to this incident and ask yourself, did anything unusual occur, anything at all? And then lastly, the blood on your coat. If it wasn't cross-contamination, any other suggestions for how it could have got there? It's my card. Call me any time, night or day.
Well, he told the police that I was with him till 11.30, and I corroborated that because I just assumed he was telling the truth. And it was only later I realised that I couldn't have been. I had an early surgery the following day, and there's no way that I would have been out that late. And my wife confirmed that. OK. So it was a full three days later that you decided to come forward and correct your statement? <sighs> Why was that? Because David was a friend and because I knew I would be trashing his alibi. At that stage, I didn't seriously think that he could have done it. So I held off, and I ended up as an accessory to murder. And no one signs up for that, do they? There you go, sweetheart. Thank you. I'll drive her back in an hour or so. Maybe they'll have resolved it by then. <laughs> Did you ever wonder why she never talked to us? Tara, I mean. About David hitting her. There are things you don't tell a parent that you tell a sister. Are there? She wouldn't have wanted to worry us. But you were there, Pete, when he threatened us. When he threatened to kill her, just before he was charged. We both saw that, didn't we? I'd like to go over what you saw that night at the restaurant, Agatha. I said all this seven years ago. I went through everything then. I just need to clarify a couple of things. Do you remember if they ate? No. They eat nothing. They drink. <sighs> all night, very drunk. Particularly her, the uh, older one. Alice. Yeah. Alice. And what was their mood? Very good spirits. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Till the last 20 minutes. And <laughs> shit, nasty roll until they leave. I have here, you said they're in good spirits, laughing and joking all night. Not all night, it's the last 20 minutes. And the other woman working that night? Sylvie. She didn't mention anything about a row. Sylvie was on a different section. Plus, she didn't see what I see when I went out for smoke. What did you see? What I told police officer. I love trees. Big sister, grab a little one by throat and push him to the wall. <laughs> Why were you not called as a witness at the trial? I don't know. I returned to Poland for a year just after I gave statement. But I would have come back if they ask. OK, thank you. Phil? Quick work, man. All right? Yeah, all good, mate, all good. But I just wanted to say that, um... Well, you're not going to be doing yourself any favours, fella, letting him stay at yours. No-one's got a problem with you, and we understand that he's... Well, you know, his family, but, um... Well, he'll have to find somewhere else to live. <laughs> he'll live where he wants, mate. It's free country, last time I checked. He needs to leave, mate. Is how you incapacitate your Commodore Gordon bank robber. Right, go and clean your teeth. I'll come read you a story, all right? Chop, chop. Oh, you know what? I've just remembered. We did actually try and get hold of her, but uh, she came from some Arsene village north of Gdansk, and we never managed to track her down. I mean, obviously, if her statement had been key, we might have tried a little harder, but, uh... Right.
It's just because she now says that she told you that she saw Alice assault her sister that night. Assault her? Yeah. Assault her how? She said she grabbed her by the throat and pushed her against a wall. <laughs> Jesus. No. She never said anything remotely like that. I mean, obviously she didn't, because if she had it done, it would be in her witness statement, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course, yeah, it would. I'm just wondering why she'd say that to me. I don't know. Maybe she remembered it wrong. Or maybe she's got some agenda we don't know about. You tell me. I don't know. I have no idea. Jack, Rosie, supper. Where's Jack? I thought he was down here. He's not upstairs. Is he with Dad? Rob, have you seen Jack? Isn't he back? No. Call his mobile. Jack! 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 Oh my god, oh my god. Hi, Jack. Give us a bell as soon as you get this message, will you? Cheers, mate. Voice mail. Oh, I just presumed you'd be in his room. That means he hasn't been home since school. That's fine, you. He'll be at some club and just forgotten to die. It's 7.30, Robert. Rosie, darling, do you want to lay the table? What if he's taken him? You won't take him. He knows this house. He knows where we live. I'll call the police. It's all right, love. I'm just on the phone. How, how did you get in here? Back door was open. I was worried about you, mate. I'm calling the police. No, no, Tom. No need. I'll go. I'll go. It's all right, it's fine. 